Hi, just a few thoughts about how to handle re-importing of 3D assets in Godot. Because making a game is most often not a straightforward approach where you follow a predetermined path from start to finish. Instead, it's a messy and chaotic trip where you need to iterate some things over and over because you first realize what works and what not when you do it. So I want to give you some kind of structure and best practice I find useful to prevent you from running into problems you will just realize you have when it's already too late. I use version 3.5 for this video, so if things look or behave different for you, make sure to check what version you are using. Okay, let's say you want to do some of these innovative mobile games where you have to place buildings and tap them from time to time to collect resources from them. We create a 3D model in our software of choice, minus Blender. And in this video I will not talk about how to actually create a 3D asset since I already did a video about this topic. Feel free to watch this if you're interested. So just jump to the finished result. You see we have our building and an animation for it to be played whenever someone will tap on it to give some visual feedback to the player. Export it to GLTF, like I said in my last video, export only the selected and it's always a good idea to apply modifiers before exporting. My advice is to come up with a name that is unique but also easy readable for you so you will know what's in later on. Don't use any version number in the name of the export file because we actually don't want to change this name anywhere in the future. Now before we import it to our Godot project we should definitely organize our workspace a bit. I personally like to have all import files somewhere in a separate folder. This makes actually sense for me because of two reasons. First. It looks more organized that way, obviously. And second, these export files can get quite big for more detailed models. So maybe you want to exclude them from your version control tools and just save them separately. But version control itself would actually be enough stuff for a separate video. So let's just take it like this for now. I name the folder imports. In this folder, I actually like to create a new separate folder for each model I want to import. Because while importing you may want to get a material or animation as a separate file and having such separate folder for each import ensures that you won't overwrite a material with another just because you messed up naming in your 3D software. So let's call this power plan and then import the GLTF file into this directory. You can see by default Godot already created a separate file for the material. Now we can use our imported model in Godot. To do so, double click the imported GLTF file and select open as new inherited. Godot will automatically create a new scene for you in a format that is easily readable for the engine and will link the stuff from the import file in it. You can start editing this and add other stuff in. For our game, we will add an area that can be clicked on and create a script that plays the animation whenever the area is clicked and spawns a little icon because electricity and stuff. Yay, we're done, let's model another building. At least until our producer steps in and tells us to change the graphic style because this stylized low poly lock is not in anymore and also the game is not grindy enough so he wants the building to be destroyed after three clicks so the player will need to spend more resources in the game. Regardless if we like these ideas or not, we need to go back to our 3D model software and take some adjustment to our model. We change the style of it and add one new animation for the destruction of the building. Now when exporting again, the name is important. You shall not change the name from whatever name you gave it when imported the first time. That's why you should give it a meaningful name from the start on. You can export it directly into the file structure of your game project or you just move it in there later. Just make sure to place it at the same directory like the first time. Either way Godot will now re-import the file and overwrite the alt. Maybe you don't see the change directly, but don't worry, it should be there. If you start the game it should already be updated and if you want to see it in the editor as well, you can go to scene and reload save scene. So here we have it, the model is updated and if we do the change in the code, the new animation is played after three times clicking. Our producer will be so happy. If you however don't see the update in the game and nothing changed when you reload the scene, maybe Godot just got a small hiccup. 
You can try to play around with how Godot imports animations and materials. Make sure to keep on reimport is not set for this. Maybe change it to built in and try to reimport it or maybe just delete everything in the directory and completely reimport it from scratch. Just one last note, when you try out the low poly workflow approach from the last video, you may find it easier to not create a separate directory for each model and instead actually import all of the models into the same. Make sure you set your import settings for the materials to file and not built in. And as long as you actually use the same material for all your models in the 3D software, all imported files in Godot will now automatically reference to the same material file. That's super fast and changes in the material will automatically apply to all models. Downside is that you may run into problems if you need the animation also as a separate file if you don't have unique names for your animation. And that's it. But wait, there's more, because this importing and exporting goes actually also in the other way and you can export scenes from Godot back to your 3 software. If you want to know more about this, I guess you need to watch my next video. And like always, what do you guys think? Did this help you or do you have even a better workflow? Let me know in the comments and feel free to like this video to make it easier for others to be found. Thank you and hope to see you again.